The House of the Rising Sun is a traditional folk song, sometimes called Rising Sun Blues. Now, just like some old blues songs, folk songs are often covered by many, many artists. But the most successful and probably famous version of this was recorded by a British rock band called The Animals, which is a band I have not actually covered on this channel at all either. So this would be pretty cool in... Uh, the description of this track also has been called one of the first folk rock hits so it was that time around I think Dylan as well was experimenting between the mix between rock and roll music or rock music and folk music so this was a pretty cool time in in the history of music in terms of the blending of a lot of ideas together so it'd be very interesting to see and I've heard that it's a pretty cool lyrical experience too so I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction okay here we go this is House of the Rising Sun by The Animals if you do end up enjoying the video Video, hit me with a like maybe share it with a friend and if you haven't already join our awesome community by subscribing here we go very somber there is a house in New Orleans they call the rising sun he's got a very unique voice I like the atmosphere of this one. Very interesting. Ooh, great keys. Love the passion in his voice. hear the pain in it, you know? Sounds like we're building. Okay, I love, love, love the atmosphere of this thing. Um, it seems to be a tale from the first person of a per of a young man who's kind of lost his life to what he's called the rising sun. They call the rising sun. It says this house. It might be uh, a gambling spot because he seems to be talking about gambling addiction in his place. He also talks about drinking issues. If when he's all drunk, so maybe it's also a bar, a tavern, maybe, uh, maybe it's just a, a word he represents for something greater, the lust or addiction that exists in him. It could be, it could mean anything. It could mean anything to you. But it's very cool. Very, it's like a almost a cautionary tale. It seems like love the vibe. Very somber atmosphere. Almost like a funeral. Kind of mimicking the melody of the single. I like this. Oh, mother, tell your children. Great sense of pain in his voice. Wow. Best verse yet.
<laughs> He's tapping along too. That was an incredible song. Incredible song, especially for what it was, right? It was telling the story. And what I noticed really early on was that the music was the driving force in this atmosphere. It was very somber. Yet, the intensity rose up. Now, what I think they were trying to mimic with the music was what it almost feels as if when you're in that kind of crazy frenetic state and you're gambling or you're uh, looking for sin or whatever your addiction of choice may be it can almost feel like that rising intensity where you're not in control anymore i loved how they did that with the music um, big shout out to the keys player on this and the drummer right the drummer was doing a uh, almost a laid back thing not laid back but he he served the purpose of the song just keeping that tempo but rising up with the music really really cool especially the keys too the keys really added to the vibe of this thing singer's voice really portrayed the idea of that he was this guy it was from his point of view and it was really a cautionary tale you know he's telling his mother like keep your kids the my younger siblings away from this life of sin which he spoke about and then i want to lastly speak about the last last verse and what he kind of means by this he says well i got one foot on the platform the other foot on the train i'm going back to new orleans to wear that ball and chain really interesting he's like caught in two worlds he's saying he knows what he's doing is bad he's telling his mother this tale of sin and drinking and gambling that he's repeating just like his father had right he talks about my father was a gambling man down in new orleans and he seems like he is not able to break those chains to wear that ball and chain he's doing it just like his dad he knows it's bad he's seen his dad do it he's telling his mom what he's doing is bad but yet his foot is still on that train on his way back to new orleans really brilliant song man i love how it was written uh, shout outs to the people who wrote it because I don't think it was the animals right but they seem to have been able to understand the music or at least understand the story of this and transcend it and make it into something really powerful here I really liked it man the atmosphere and the music set the tone for this thing brilliant track two thumbs up